I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. It's Debbie and I'm coming from my apartment in Warner Robins and we are making a chocolate silk pie today for our Easter dinner. Now Morris always loves to have chocolate pie so we decided to do a mousse like pie so it puts a little twist on it gives it a new direction on what he can expect as far as chocolate goes because chocolate pies aren't all about pudding they're about making it the silkiest smoothest tasting consistency you can have. So stay tuned if you want to watch this recipe because it's going to be a good one. See you soon. Hey y'all, it's Debbie. Happy Easter everybody. We are doing chocolate silk pie today in place of our chocolate custard or our chocolate pudding pies that we normally make on a holiday. Wanted to give you a little bit of something different so this is my take on it. We are going to make this in the oven here. This is a pre-made pie crust that I rolled out into my beautiful scalloped pie pan. And we're gonna bake it at 450 for 10 minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna be on the stove top and we're going to make our chocolate silk pie filling. So stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start with the most unusual part. We're gonna go ahead and get our heavy whipping cream together with our powdered sugar to make uh, medium peaks, not, we don't have to do stiff peaks, just medium peaks. So I'm doing one teaspoon of powdered sugar and one cup of cold heavy whipping cream. Get this mixed up and I'm using the whisk on this and I'm actually gonna turn this up higher so I will be back. Okay guys, we are at medium peaks right now. It still has a little bit of substance to it but it's, it's not too stiff. So I'll go ahead and put this in the cup that I originally poured it in. So I just washed it and dried it out so I could put it back in there. So we'll go ahead and put this is actually going to go into our chocolate mixture when we're done because it helps to give it consistency. So, you can use Cool Whip if you want to, if you don't want to mix this up. You just, it's going to end up being about maybe two cups. The volume will be about two cups of volume. Maybe one and a half cups from the looks of it. So I put one cup in and then I put one teaspoon of confectioner sugar in and it looks like it's probably, yeah, probably about one and a half cups. All right, go over to the stove top. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the stove top. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my sugar in and I have two eggs. And I'm going to start whisking these together. And we're gonna do it on low heat because we don't want it to seize up. So we're gonna, we're gonna do it at a lower temperature. What you want to do is to be able to temper these eggs, but you don't want to cook them like a scrambled egg. And that's the goal of this. So you're going to be stirring this constantly for eh, probably about maybe between eight and 10 minutes until it's smooth because what you got to do is melt the sugar in here and that's going to make it more liquidy. So you just want to make sure that the eggs are cooked properly, actually tempered properly. And then we're going to add in the salt and our chocolate. And then we're going to add that 
over on our mixer. I'm gonna add that here shortly. Get everything mixed together. All right, we'll be back guys when we're ready to get everything assembled. Hey y'all, so we're doing a check-in. So our temperature for this when we're ready to pour in our chocolate and our salt, our pinch of salt has got to be 160 degrees. So right now we are currently about 114, 115. So we have a little ways to go. So I'm just gonna keep stirring this. It's gonna get a little bit thicker um, but I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you see where we are and where we need to go. So the temperature goes up and down on this depending on how I hold it in the inside of the liquid here. So I had it at 161. So I'm just going to check it one more time before we take it off of heat just to make sure that we are there and we are okay. So we are at 166, so we'll go ahead and turn this off, remove this from heat, and give me a moment, and we will go ahead and get the salt and the chocolate in. Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a pinch of salt. And we have a tiny little bit of chocolate here so we're going to just go ahead and pour this in here and get this started I am using semi-sweet most people use dark chocolate I do not dark chocolate to me is too intense for our family you can do the same amount in dark chocolate if you wish we are not I would do milk chocolate, but I used it up yesterday on all of my candy I made, so we're going to use this instead. Okay. Go ahead and get this stirred in here. This is going to seize up a little bit, so don't be alarmed if it does. It's got to be reacclimated here, and just we'll stir it and whisk it until it's shiny, and then we're going to let it cool at room temperature for a little bit, and then we're going to pour it into our mixer with our butter, and we're going to whip up our butter here, and we'll do that in just a couple moments. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. See how shiny it is? It's so pretty and shiny. That's exactly what I want for this. Beautiful. I just want to make sure that everything is silky smooth and that we don't have any chunks of chocolate hanging around. guys we're gonna go ahead and set this aside and let it cool down and then when we will come back we're going to go back over to the mixer we're going to whip up our room temperature butter and then we will go from there stay tuned hey y'all so i'm going to go ahead and start whipping up my room temperature butter now this is a third of a cup which is about five and one third tablespoons of Butter. And then, then we'll add in our yummy chocolate mixture. Oh my God, is it delicious, guys. Oh, you guys are gonna be so, and it's so easy, guys. Really super easy. 
So don't get overwhelmed with this. Just It's very simple. It's just a couple steps. And I'm using um, the Ready Whip Heavy Whipping Cream so it can last until tomorrow. Because if I use fresh uh, whipping cream, um, it's probably going to be melted by then. So I want something with a little substance on it. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't got it nice and whipped. And let me just add this in, the chocolate in. The chocolate is pretty thick, so I'm just going to do it like this and just sweep it in here. And then we'll mix it up until it's all well combined. Oh my God, this stuff is so good truly truly is good i am so happy that i used the semi-sweet instead of using dark chocolate because i like it sweet and it is delicious and chocolatey so i gotta get the rest of this out of here there's plenty more that i gotta get out so let me just try to sweep this up so we can get it into our our pot here to mix it up. I don't want there to be any chocolate left out if I can help it. It is too good not to put in here. I think I'm going to use a stiffer spatula because I think it needs a little extra enticing to get out because it is thick and it is at room temperature now so it's it's cooled down so it's a little thicker all right all right go ahead and before I restart this I'm just going to sweep the butter down on the sides so everything will be mixed together here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. Sorry guys, I just want to make sure I have every little bit of chocolate in here because it is so good. It's going to be too good to mess up. All right, here we go. So it is thick and shiny. Let me get this off here. Trying to get all of the chocolate down in there so we don't have any extra chocolate hanging around because I'm telling you every bite of this is going to be like melt in your mouth good oh my god is it going to be good so after this I'm going to take my mixing bowl off the stand here because I'm going to have to put in my heavy whipping cream that we whipped up earlier we're going to fold it in we're not going to mix it in we're going to fold it in and then we're going to put it into our chilled par-baked pie crust. So hang on, we'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I'm running out of spoons here. Um, I'm just going to take my heavy whipping cream that we whipped up earlier. It was the first thing we did. And we're going to fold it into our chocolate mixture. Goodness, this is going to be so amazing. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to fold. It's almost like a wheel. 
you don't want to deflate this. You just want to fold it in in a circle like this. You have to have a, a, a large spoon or a spatula for this to do this. taking my time with it so I don't deflate it. You just want to mix in your cream with your chocolate mixture. Look how light and pretty that is. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready to put this into our cold par baked pie crust. This is going to be so good. I'm just going to level it out. I have all the other good yumminess out of here. Okay guys, this is the final product here and this is what it looks like. Oh my God, does it look good or what? It's gonna be so good tomorrow evening when we have our Easter dinner. You guys have a blessed holiday. God bless, enjoy the reason for the season and celebrate everything with your family. And I'm Debbie. And, and we're, we're Two Sisters, Sisters Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.